I continue to see agents say things and make comments about, you know, when should I stop following up with a lead or they've ghosted me or they're not responsive or how many times should I try? What are you, what are you training your teams on? What are you telling your teams on when it comes to lead follow-up and, and, you know, someone who may not be, you know, responsive at this moment in time? Yeah. You know, um, I think again, what's great about a program like this is is so many of these are live transfers where they are ready to go to look at something now. Um, I'm used to, you know, kind of the 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 market and the type of lead that I'm used to are people that are uh, maybe a month out, three months out, six months out, a year, five years out. And so our approach is, you know, with all of these leads, dripping them. Um, by by email, by text, um, and and trying to um, catch them when the time is right for them. I always use the quick analogy with a, it's like a package in an Amazon factory, that the package is going through the factory, and eventually, um, at the end of the day, it gets to the truck and it's getting ready to be shipped. My personal belief is that every person I talk to, everyone I meet is somewhere on that conveyor belt. And we all want people that are ready to hit the truck. The reality of it is not everybody's right there. And so through that relationship building, through that care, through that getting to know people, following up when the time is right for you, then you are their agent when they're ready to to hop in the Amazon truck. And so I know that may sound like a crazy analogy, but I just think for us, it is a slow, um, soft, persistent, helpful, caring follow-up. And eventually people respond when the time's right for them. Awesome. I love the, uh, well, I'm a softy for analogies anyways, <laughs> as my team knows. Um, most of mine aren't very good, but, but, but I use them all the time. Yeah. Um, uh, Stephen. Our biggest crop here in the Carolinas is peaches. I love fresh peaches over canned and frozen peaches. I love good new leads. I have an addiction to good new leads and a great system to follow up on old leads. And I think if you're going to be successful, you need both. Is there ever a time um, if, if one of your agents is saying, hey, these people haven't, resp- you know, they haven't responded. I've reached out 10 times. I haven't responded. What's, what's your response to that agent? Humans move and humans need shelter. There's no bad lead. But if you've called and texted and emailed someone 20 or 30 times in the first 30 days, I'm okay with you moving them to a drip follow-up plan. And let's let these people settle back into their lives. They're evidently not buying real estate this month. If you've done 20, 30, 40 reach outs to them, let them settle down, cool off for a little bit and then let's hit them again. Um, but again, I'm not gonna turn down new leads bugging someone on their 50th um, non-response. I'm not. Yeah. I love I love new fresh leads. <laughs> All right. New, new pe- maybe we'll just start referring to our leads as peaches from now on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Michelle. I'm being you? honest. <laughs> Well, what we will do is if those if those agents can't get in front of them, I agree with Stephen. It's changed. When we all started, they've been in business a long time. It was get them qualified, and now that has changed. No one wants to give their financial information over the phone. Everybody's afraid of scammers, so just meet them, build rapport. And if they can't get in front of them and they're not um, responding to them after you know probably twenty tries, then we have them transfer them back to the ISA. And then the ISA will nurture them because the agents, you know, we always want pipeline business. I think big successful teams, how they're successful is by nurturing and being used to the long game. And the agents, a lot of times just aren't, you know, they're, they're working with those new people. And so we transfer it back to our ISA who will nurture a long time till they're ready to go. And then we'll send them back to the yeah. agent. I, I love it. And, and what the common thing I heard from all three of you uh, is that, you want your people getting face to face because face to face gives you the best chance to that build that trust and rapport. And when you do that, follow up is a lot easier uh, and more natural. And if they don't, you have a system for you know within your team structure. You have systems and processes to make sure that that lead isn't lost or forgotten or thrown away. That you can you will continue to nurture and incubate them till they're ready. You may not use the agent's time and efforts to do that, but but you you have a system for doing that. 